Hey everyone, John here. Wanted to do my weekly base update. I wanted to do something a little different today. Uh, patch 226 just came out. It includes the ghillie suit, the new raptor, modern bed, industrial oven, and a few other things. So if we go over here to the fabricator, I've already gathered all the material we need. It's a lot of metal gathering, but I uh, already had a lot of it gathered up and smelted up in the uh, new oven we have. So, let's see, uh, structures, cooking, industrial cookers right here, I don't know how big this thing's going to be, hopefully it's not like the forge was and it's just super massive and I have to rework the whole base, and the bed is right here, now they called it a modern bed, but it's actually just a bunk bed from all I can tell, I believe that, that was it actually, let me go look really quick, let's look down through the anagrams here and make sure that there's not anything I'm missing. But I don't think there is. Pretty sure that bunk bed is what they're calling the modern bed. Yeah, see, and here's the here's the ghillie suit. And there's the gloves and boots to it. And yeah, I believe that's I believe this is it. Just a bump bed. That's what they're calling the modern bed. And here's the cooker way down here. So we'll go ahead and uh, we get some gas. We'll go ahead and crash this stuff up and see about placing it. See how big this stuff is. I'm a little worried. I just reworked this whole place and I don't want to have to go through it again. Some structures, cooking. We'll go ahead and make this thing up first. It's very expensive. 1800 metal. And let's see, the bed, we have enough for that as well. We'll go ahead and make that. And I wanted to go ahead and make the spray gun. I need metal crystal and cementing paste. We gotta, we'll take a stack of crystal. Let's take the stack of metal. And I need cementing paste. We got a little bit right there. And I can't walk. Okay. Stick this stuff in there. Yeah, I want to go ahead and make this as well. I'll be spray painting all of the stuff here at the base pretty soon. So, I want to have that ready. Is there anything else? Let's see. Oh, the ghillie suit. That's right. And this stuff you can make in your bag, but I need organic organic polymers for that. And I don't have any of that, so I'll have to go kill some of the penguins to get it. So, let's take this stuff out. I'll leave that in there for now. And let's just see how big this thing actually is. Okay. So, see, this is a reasonable size. Actually, I think a perfect place for this would be upstairs. Like over here. This is kind of what I was leaving this place open for. Yeah, I don't know if I want it over here in the corner. Let's see. I think right in here would be a pretty cool spot. We'll still have room to put chests on either side if we need to pretty cool. Let's see if we can get it lined up right. I think that's looking okay. Let's go into cave mode and see if we can see anything. Alright, I guess not. This thing's super expensive so I want to make sure it's right. Let's see. That's it. We've done it. Oh yeah, it looks good. Awesome. Alright, so what does it look like? Uses gasoline, of course. Cooks super fast. 
All right, let's go ahead and uh, set up this modern bunk bed as well, and afterwards I'll go gather up a few materials and we'll see how fast the cooker actually works. Okay, so it's just, it's literally just a bunk bed. Okay. I'm just going to stick it right here. Looks good. Can we climb on top? What? Okay, now this is just disappointing. <laughs> what in the world? Come on, guys. Screenshot. <laughs> There's no hit. I wanted to at least get on the top bunk. Oh, well. What is it? Is there any kind of... Here, let's look at it and see if there's anything. Fast travel, drop items, drops items. We'll go ahead and rename it. See, I was kind of hoping with the modern bed that it would, um, you would be able to take a few items with you. Maybe at least your armor uh, from place to place. I guess maybe you just get to respawn at a little faster time. So that's kind of what that's about. But anyway, I'm going to go gather some of the organic polymer. Be right back with the ghillie suit as well as a few berries and other stuff to make some dyes up because I'll need the dyes for uh, the repainting in here anyway so I'll be right back alright guys and we're back and we have the ghillie suit on and it really is hard for me to see myself I know it's nighttime right now but I am in the light a little bit all you can see is the skin on my head that's pretty much it. Let's get up in the light and we'll take a better look at this. It's pretty cool looking. It's got like leaves all over it and looks like branches and and uh, rope and stuff. Pretty cool. Oh, it actually matches my eyes too. I didn't even know my eyes were green. I like it though. It's definitely cool looking. So I got some uh, ingredients in the cooking pot up here and I figured we'll go ahead and turn it on I haven't used it yet so this is my first experience with that I just got some charcoal in here and gasoline and uh, berries and I went and grabbed all the water jars that we had pretty much on the server from the uh, northern uh, base and I grabbed them all off the uh, the bodies and everything so um, we'll go ahead and turn it on see how it works now it says it cooks holy crap Oh my gosh. Dude, they weren't kidding when they said it cooked super fast. Did you guys see that? Um, just curious. Dude, it emptied my canteen instantly as soon as I put it in there. That's insane. This is going to help me out a lot with the repainting of my base. Holy crap. Well, that's cool. Okay, wow! Actually, the thing looks cool while it's on. Hold on, let me turn off these torches here. Oh, that purple looks really neat. I like that a lot. I can't believe how fast that was. I hope you... Man, that, that is crazy fast. Like, instantly, all of these were gone, and as soon as I put my canteen in there, it was gone as well. I plan on making some black dyes and green and stuff like that but that's crazy um anyway we'll go ahead and walk up and look at the uh rest of the update there was a table that came out and uh, i had an extra extra uh trophy base with the artifact i keep a few artifacts in my uh chest in there and so yeah put a uh, trophy base on the table you can put stuff on the table it's pretty neat pretty cool looking so i can just sit here and what? What the heck? Where am I at? Oh, that's kind of weird. That was a weird glitch. Anyway, and I put a few tables out here at the bridge. I'll go ahead and uh, fly out there and look at those as well. While we're doing this, I wanted to go ahead and mention, I know a lot of people on the forums are having trouble with uh, like game-breaking like crashes and uh, a bunch of their dinos missing after this patch. I don't know what the deal is with that. I did notice that 
when I logged in, my birds were kind of sunken into the foundation a little bit and, and actually moved a little as well. So I don't know if the case is that maybe they're sinking through the worlds or something. I'm not sure, but everything I have is still intact. And uh, it's it's all good here, so I kind of hate that for everybody else. I'm sure they'll get it fixed, though. Go ahead and walk up in the top here. So all I did was put a cooking pot down and I placed the tables up here where I'd put the benches before as tables and I put a few uh, pestle and mortars on top to kind of make it look like food bowls. So I thought that was pretty neat. Pretty good update so far. I like it. Anyway, if you enjoyed the uh, base update and a little bit of a showcase with the update, uh, please let me know in the comments, and I uh, thank you for watching.